What's up, everybody? This is the Robozoid, yet with another video, of course. This time, we're going to be focusing on two legendary rock stars. In this case, Carlos Santana and Alice Cooper, whom, by the way, is my absolute favorite rock star of all time, uh, because I just like the uh, whole shock rock thing. I love the... Um, I really love his... Uh, irreverent brand of rock and also the fact that he's the guy that drove the stake through the heart of the love generation uh, more about him later but first let's get into carlos santana who uh said had had who said on stage that there are only two sexes that's me you're a man and you're you're either a man or a woman and that's the way god made you and and the way he said it was, I don't think he absolutely meant to be transphobic or anything, but he was just laying out the facts. And of course, he got scorched for it because, well, that's just the way the intolerant left are and these intolerant monkeys in the FDBT community. Now, this story involves guitar legend Carlos Santana, and apparently he had a few thoughts on stage that he wanted to get out, that he just wanted to get off of his chest, like everybody else should be doing in public. Yeah, I don't care what you say. People should publicly speak out about this sort of thing. And here's what Mr. Santana had to say. Roll the clip. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. Now, what Carlos Santana was saying was, if you do it in the privacy of your own home, you just keep it in the closet, then I'm fine with that. I'm cool with that. He did not, he's, he did not say anything anti-trans, like the simpletons in the FDBT movement would have you believe. What he said was, you just keep it to yourself, don't rub it in anybody else's face, and I'm fine with that. Yeah, what part of that didn't you understand, you FDBT fools? Another legendary rocker did the same thing, I want you to know that, and that was Alice Cooper. He spoke out about this whole trans issue, but did he ever say that he was against it? No, not particularly. He just said the same thing that Carlos Santana said, that a man is a man, a woman is a woman, uh, you cannot change your own gender. Uh, just because you feel like changing your own gender, because you're, because you're just a boy who feels like a girl, and you can't go into the girl's bathroom because you feel like a girl. Alice Cooper even lost an endorsement deal with a cosmetics company called Vampire Cosmetics. Yes, vampire is spelled V-A-M-P-Y-R-E. Yeah, shouldn't there be an I there? I don't know, I guess poor literacy is cool. So, uh, as a result of that, Alice Cooper lost that endorsement deal, but does he care? No, not particularly. I mean, he probably has uh, different people doing makeup for him now. And you know what? He's 75 years old and still rocking. That is friggin' awesome. I respect a guy of such advanced age who can actually still rock and rock hard. The makeup company was not best pleased with Alice Cooper's comments, so they kind of struck back at him by refusing to do any future business with him. I believe this is what they actually said here. If you care, here's what the cosmetics company had to say. In light of the recent statements made by Alice Cooper, we will no longer be doing makeup and we will no longer be doing a makeup collaboration. We stand with the members of the FDBTQA, that's what I call them anyway, community. And we believe that everyone should have access to health care. All pre-order sales you know, will be will be refunded. 
Vampire cosmetics. Pff, yeah, free access to healthcare. You people are fools. Now, do keep in mind, Alice Cooper is a born-again Christian and a devout family man, so of course he's going to hold these traditional values that it's wrong to trans a child, and he's absolutely right. It is wrong to trans a child at the age of six, because he made a comment about that, that a six-year-old uh, should be a boy, and that a six-year-old should be allowed to, have to be a six-year-old, have a childhood, and it is just wrong to, to have these kids uh, be trans, to make a boy into a girl, or to decide that uh, a tomboy has to be a boy. You know, a girl who likes to, who likes boy stuff. Also, I think that Alice Cooper was absolutely right when he said, this whole thing is just a fad. It's going to go away in a couple of years. Because, yeah, this whole trans testicleism, it's nothing more than just a fad. And this is the guy with the Christian traditional values that I think should be respected and not uh, reviled like these idiots on the left are doing. I guess while I'm on the subject, speaking of idiots on the left, apparently this loser rock star, uh, I don't know, a nobody band member from some band that hasn't been irrelevant in 25 years, The Offspring, uh, a guy named Noodles, actually... Tim actually tweeted, or should I say, X'd this about Alice Cooper. Some idiot named Noodles from the band The Offspring had this to say. It's so disheartening to see and had to see aging rockers outing themselves as anti-trans bigots. No, oh, shut up. Especially when those rockers were gender-bending pioneers in their ute. Oh, Yeah. Well, just because they were gender benders did not mean that they were in favor of the trans testicle community. And back then, there was no trans testicle community. This guy Noodles is full of noodles. He's got noodles in his head. No brain there. He's a schmuck. Oh, yeah, Noodles. Well, at least Alice gives to charity. At least he does uh, charity work and cares a great deal about his own community and about uh, the people of Phoenix. And also he does a lot of good work for people at Christmas time. So yeah, I don't see you doing any of that charity work, noodles. The coop was just speaking his mind. Since when is that a crime now? To speak your mind on a subject that obviously you feel very strongly about, mostly down to uh, religious or uh, just personal convictions. Yeah, is there something wrong with that, you leftards? I mean, do you people just hate free speech? Or are you people truly are the intolerant left, as the late Bernard McGurk pegged you? Because I think you are. I mean, you're the ones doing this to yourselves. I mean, maybe Carlos and Alice are just concerned about the long-term psychological damage that these people are doing to themselves. You know where this whole trans thing leads to? Quite frankly, it leads to suicide when there's no way back for them. Those are just the facts, and you can't argue with facts. Unless you're a completely mentally disordered liberal, then, you know, then argue away. You'll still lose, but you'd still, but go ahead and make your argument, because you're not going anywhere with it. This has been the Robozoid saying, You've heard two legendary rock stars give their two cents worth on this whole transgender fad, which, according to Alice Cooper, yeah, it is pretty much a fad. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, I want you to smash that like button. I mean, give it a good hard press, you know, because it's just fun. And also, give this video uh, a thumbs up, of course. Well, that's part of the like business. And also, be sure to subscribe and share because, you know, it really helps the channel out a lot. And God knows we need all the people we can get to try to drive some sense into these people, just for God's sakes. Well, obviously, these are two gentlemen who know that wokeness is weakness. They are two of the more intelligent members of the rock and roll species who understand what power to your voice means power to our voices, and of course, being rockers and legends, they understand a thing or two about power to the music in the streets.